Okay, it's that time again. We're adding another state sticker. And this time it is... Nevada. Nevada. We spent a week in Las Vegas. No, that's gonna crease. Okay, let me try it. Let me start over. There it goes. Come on. How's that? Oh, wait, wait, wait. Wait, wait, wait. That's good. That's good. Okay. Okay, we got, there we, got, we go. We got it right in the lines. Look at that. So now we forgot to that uh Woohoo! Woo! Oh yeah. <laughs> Hey guys, so today is our last day in Las Vegas. Oh yeah, terrible. And yeah. Uh, we're going to be leaving and heading east. And uh, I, we're starting to, you know, get things ready to go here in the RV. Mm -hmm. And I came in and Maria had gotten our bug out bag out and she was going through it, uh, making, you know, repacking it or whatever. So I thought maybe this would be a good time to show you guys that, tell you what it is and uh, why we have one. And uh, so she, <laughs> so she's got it all laid out pretty for you here on the bed. Uh, and I'll let her explain to you what a bug out bag is. You want to explain what, to them what a bug out bag is? Well, um, in case you have to get out of the RV real quick, um, middle of the night, you're in your PJs. Um, and you'll have a change of clothes. Right. Right. Jeep. Okay, so check this out. Here's the scenario, and, I, and, I, and I've talked about this before in videos. It's, uh, you know, like 2.30 in the morning. Mm -hmm. uh, all of a sudden, you, you know, you're in bed asleep, and the fire alarms start going off. And what you're supposed to do is get out that window okay uh, because the fire is probably in that direction so you want to get out of that window and uh, like I said it's 2 33 o'clock in the morning and you have to you know jump for your life I guess and try not to leave body parts on the window so uh, but here's the question that uh, I asked when I made another video similar to this way back in the beginning let me ask you this. What are you wearing? <laughs> Is it, are, are you running around the RV park in your underwear at this point? Yeah, probably, yeah. right? Now. <laughs> uh, you're standing outside in your underwear in the RV park watching all of your stuff burn up. Okay. So, and you know, that, that's not such a, I mean, it sounds funny, but that's not such a far-fetched scenario. Uh, you know, if you're on Facebook or uh, anywhere in the RVing community, as spring comes on, we start seeing more and more RV fires for whatever reason. So this is something to think about, okay? Uh, so the RVer bug out bag, we call it, is just a bag with a change of clothes, uh, including, and yeah, including some shoes, okay? And to this a little jacket, yeah, a jacket each, a change of clothes each, a different pair of shoes each, okay. And to this, we will add some spare keys and some copies of some paperwork, you know, insurance cards, that kind of thing, that would also be, you know, burning up in the RV. And once we put all that into the bag, of course, the shoes don't fit, they just go where the bag goes. Uh, we will put this bag in the Jeep and that's where we keep this bag with all this kind of stuff in it so that uh, when that scenario should that scenario God forbid ever does happen to us we won't have to run around the RV park in our underwear <laughs> trying to figure out uh, you know what we're going to put on or I don't know just see it seems funny to me but uh, it, it's it's not really uh, so that's what our RV or bug out bag is, and uh, there you go. <laughs> there you go. Mm. 
morning everyone Matt and Maria Nomadic Native back with you thanks for tuning in <laughs> that was really good uh, it's uh, March 2nd uh, about 9 30 and we are leaving Quartzsite for the last time this, this year yeah, last time this year we're leaving Roadrunner BLM yep Matt's driving he beat me up and no that's a lie we flipped <laughs> a coin and he won <laughs> We are going to take 95 south to Yuma and then take 8 into Tucson. I don't know if it's, uh, it might be a little bit longer than just going I-10, but I-10 takes you through Phoenix and we're just going to avoid Phoenix. Yep. Turn right on US 95. Yes ma'am. Mm -hmm. <laughs> it's a pretty uh, morning. So tell, so tell me again what they said up there. Car hauler, uh -huh. put on fire, loaded brand new cars. Right. He disconnected the tractor from the trailer, uh -huh. saved three cars in a tractor, and he's got six, six, six brand new cars on his trailer, burning to the ground. Holy cow! <laughs> so that's what that fire is up that's there, guys. The fire is. They got the they got the highway shut down up there. I guess people ain't getting by. I still see people coming in this direction, but I guess uh, people on this side of the road are being stopped I guess yeah oh it's backing up they can't they can't go past they can't go past at all Holy cow! <laughs> Ooh, there they go. <laughs> so, so here's the deal. <laughs> uh, they got no way to put the fire out. Evidently, they don't fire departments within you know driving distance or whatever. So, the truck's just sitting on the side of the road with a bunch of cars on the back of it burning up. There ain't no way to put out the fire. Sounds like we're gonna be here for quite a while waiting on this so <laughs> well, they did finally get looks like some type of rural fire truck out here but it was after the thing had burnt to the ground <laughs> <laughs> that was a lot of smoke wasn't it yep sure was come on get in there buddy all right, you guys, come on, come on, get in there. Come on, come on, come on. You tell him, Gator. Thank you. 